Good morning. Welcome to day five of our Aquarian Shift Meditations. This is our uh, meditations to connect with and bring through the vibrations that are coming through the Aquarian Gateway during this time of opening between February 2nd and February 22nd of 2022. We are um, focusing this week, the first, like the first I'm getting more of a sense, as I said, I'm following guidance on this, and I'm getting more of a sense of how this is flowing as we move through it. This first week is about connecting in with our own bodies and our own portal, and then facing this, uh, the, the portal through which living consciousness flows into our form, and then facing this portal to the opening of the Aquarian Gateway and receiving the transmission of information through the Aquarian Gateway into our beings, into our consciousness, our cup of living consciousness. I'll say that poem again because I love it so much. The cup of living consciousness. <laughs> See, I'm just into the cup of living consciousness. The forms that we think that we are. This is a Rumi quote. The forms we seem to be, our bodies our cups of living consciousness, floating in an ocean of living consciousness. We are cups floating in an ocean of living consciousness. What we truly are is the living consciousness. Too near to see, though we swim in it and drink it in. So let's take a moment now and just call on our source in the name of the one most merciful, ever compassionate. We call on you. And let's just feel that presence, that essence, that vibration, that living consciousness, that ocean. We float in that ocean. And just feel yourself as an open cup floating in that ocean. And... So allow yourself to like to be that open cup, <laughs> kind of holding my arms open like a cup. Be an open cup and allow yourself to float in that ocean of living consciousness, allowing that living consciousness to flow through you and allowing yourself to float in it. So this is helping you to rest into it and to release the attachment to the form and be in the ocean, be in the ocean, be of the ocean. And take a moment and breathe that in, breathing in that ocean of living consciousness and let your heart center be your breathing portals. You breathe in through your heart center, that ocean of living consciousness. And as you exhale, just let yourself rest into it and float into it. Rest into it and float into it. And breathe with that. Let that breath move in and out of your heart space, breathing that ocean of living consciousness through your heart center. And now you can re recall that hand position with the fingers spread apart and the tips of the fingers touching each other as best you can. And the thumb pointing into, touching into the center of your heart, subtle energy center, your heart chakra. And let your fingers be like antennas, pointing the tips of your fingers toward that Aquarian gateway and using your intention to, and you can kind of feel it. You can feel it when you set your intention and you point your thumbs as like that antenna coming into your heart center and your fingers point toward that Aquarian gateway and feel that connection with that consciousness that's coming through. And as you feel that, breathe into your heart center. And with each breath, just let yourself fall back into your body, falling back into your body through your heart center and dropping in 
and back and land into that center. Use your breath to take you there. Land into that center. And as you exhale, just relax and release any tension from your heart space and let yourself drop farther and farther back. Landing at that point between the ocean and the portal through which the ocean flows to enter into your cup. And and let yourself land. So you are the ocean of living consciousness. You are the portal through which the living consciousness flows. And let yourself drop in and land right at the center at that doorway of that portal. And breathe in. I'm going to call the divine names again. The ocean of living consciousness, Arachman. Is calling in those vibrations of those sound codes and the meanings of those names, Rahman, and the portal through which the living consciousness flows, Rahim, and the door sill right there at that doorway of the portal, Al Mutta Kabir, is letting that flow through, allowing yourself to release any attachment to the material and just be in the flow of that living consciousness as you stand right at the door sill, on the door sill, between that oneness with all that is and the individuation of your element of creation. And breathing that through. And again, pointing that satellite let yourself be like that you know from the cup to the satellite dish and pointing this heart center toward that aquarian gateway and opening to receive and yesterday we focused on the divine name of Kalik, which is the name of the creator that really denotes the the emanation of creation from the creator so this is the concepts, the thought forms, the, um, you know, beginning to come into, like, to, to emanate from the God consciousness, right? And let's let that come in through your portal and permeate into your field, bringing through conceptual, bring, bringing through large, big picture concepts of the new information, the information that is coming through the portal to inform us and carry us into the new realm, the new era. So let's let yourself receive that. Use your hands like that antenna, point to that gateway and receive that transmission of energy. And that is Kalik. And you can repeat the divine names too. Let's call in those energies and also the function. And today we move to the next level of manifestation from Al-Khalik, which we worked with yesterday, is concept and big picture. Al-Bari is the next one. And Bari, it's with the B, as in boy, B-A-R-I. And at, at the end, Bari. And the Bari is where the concept begins to delineate, distinguish into... Um, into archetypes and attributes, right? So this is going from big picture into the pieces, right? Into the pieces of the picture, the puzzle pieces. This is the energy of it and the essence of it. This is how, how it kind of carries how things flow and harmonize in relationship to each other as they begin to delineate. 
So this is Bari. And if you remember the B, the B is like, is written in Arabic as the, it's like a cup with a dot right underneath the cup. It is that, it is that, that dot that is that focal point of that portal through which the light bursts into the manifestation. So we play with these sound codes today. You can make your intention and also call on source for help and allow yourself to receive as this information is coming through, emanating to you. Let that come in through your heart center, through that portal, and through that point within you. Let it kind of burst with the B. You can play with the B. And bringing again from like sitting at that door sill in your heart center, and just imagine that B coming through. B. And that is that, that, the word that's coming is like a blip, <laughs> a blip, uh, bursting through that portal, through that focal point, and the r, r the r is like the light. So as this Khalik was the creation from the creator coming into manifestation, this is the, the through the focal point and bursting into light, Bari, Bari, Bari. So you can play with those sounds and kind of calling on the divine name of the creator, on the one, the source of all of it, the source of everything, the source of light, the source of creation, the source of the all-encompassing, as well as the individuation, the source of the ocean, as well as the cup, the source of everything. Call on our source, and let's ask for that help and that support to receive what we are here to receive in whatever form is going to come through your portal, through your focal point, and receive. And the concepts start coming into some clarity of how the things will be formed and how they will harmonize and flow together. So you can play with the sound code of B. And again, let that B, like let it be like a, a like a, a dropping of a, a pebble or bursting forth a little pulsation into your your ocean. Your body is 70% water. It is a fluid system. And when you bring that sound through with the intention, it will carry that meaning and ripple it into the consciousness of your cup of living consciousness. Let that ripple through and inform your consciousness on a cellular level. Boom. And I'm going to give some quiet space for you to be with that.
And just a reminder, you can use your breath and any body movement, any movement your body wants to have. You can use that as a way to help your body receive energy and move energy and open to the flow. And you can add, when you're ready, the the R sound, the R, and just let that light flow through that portal into your fluid existence, into your consciousness. If you need to, you can put your hands back into that antenna, satellite antenna position. Open your satellite, point toward the Aquarian gate. Receive that transmission. And the colic to the bar. And it's receiving in the big picture conceptual energy coming through the focal point and pulsations bursting into the consciousness. Getting more specific on the shape and forms of things and how they will relate to each other and harmonize and flow. Colic bar Colic bar Colic bar And I'm going to give you some more quiet time.
You say those words in succession, you can feel how even the where the words are pronounced move from the back of the throat. And with each sound produced, it moves further into the mouth until it's re like the bursting the light through the front and out. And again, bringing that now into your heart center, into that doorway of that portal and letting the let it burst forth, let it be transmitted into your inner knowing and burst forth through that doorway of that portal into your cup of living consciousness. Take some breaths, breathe that in, receive it. And as you exhale, let it land, let it drop down and land into your hips. Your I am center. Your I am center. 
Kun Fayokun B. And let's take a minute now for gratitude and let your heart bow in reverence and gratitude for what you've received. And gratitude also helps it to anchor in deeper and become integrated into the consciousness. Let's let your heart bow in gratitude and receive. Let your heart bow in gratitude and receive and deepen. Okay, and that concludes our meditation for today. I thank you very much for being here. See you tomorrow.